Hello everybody and this is Connie and we're welcome back to Paranormal Romance Obsession and I am seriously obsessed with paranormal books um, my favorites are werewolves or shapeshifters or which there are some in this series it's mainly about um, vampires though in this series but it delves into other supernatural beings what I'm talking about is uh, the Sookie Stackhouse series by Charlene Harris. Uh, Charlene Harris is a southern uh, woman. She she writes the Sookie Stackhouse series, uh, better known as True Blood on HBO, if you've seen that. It is a wonderful series. I love it. It's funny. It is scary. It has lots of supernatural beings in it. Um, Let's get right into it. Last time I talked to you about Charlene, which I will link that video down below if you want to know more about her. And uh, I talked to you about books one and two. This week I'll talk to you about books three and four. The first being Club Dead is number three in the series. These, uh, I don't have the actual books. I sold my actual books when I got my nook. So uh, the artist art on these covers is pretty much um, the same on all of them you know the the same kind of art it's very whimsical it's very cute it's funny it's uh, I, I love the artwork on these so let's talk about Club Dead sorry I have my fan going above me all right number three and this is Club Dead Things between cocktail waitress Sookie and her vampire boyfriend Bill seem to be going excellently. Ex I cannot say that word. Excellently. Apart from a small matter that he's a vampire, that is. Until he leaves town for a while. A long while. Bill's sinister boss, Eric, has an idea of where to find him, whisking her off to Jackson, Mississippi, to mingle with the under underworld at Club Dead. When she finally catches up with the errant vampire, he is in big trouble and caught in an act of serious betrayal. This raises serious doubts as to whether she should save him or start sharpening a few stakes of her own. <laughs> that is number three. And really, this is such a fun series. Like I said, it's very, it's funny, it's scary, it's... I don't, I have a hard time finding words, you know, um, descriptive words, but it is, it's a lovely series. I absolutely loved it, and I wished it could have went on forever. I wish True Blood would have went on more. There's a lot of difference. By the way, if you've just seen um, True Blood, I do recommend you reading. There's a lot more in the books. The books are always, in my opinion, so much better anyway than the movies because they have to to put so much in two hours or in an hour of a series. You know, per book, each book was, was an episode. So they have to put 250 pages into an hour episode. So it's a lot different. Um, they leave out a lot of crucial stuff. They left out a crucial, a really fun character, in my opinion. So if you've seen who I'm, who, or if you've read the books, you kind of know who I'm talking about. The guy that watches out for her. I'm not going to say anything until we get farther in. But anyway, that is number three, Club Dead. The next book is Dead to the World. And you can see the theme of the art on the covers there. All right, let's talk about Dead to the World. Sookie Stackhouse is a cocktail waitress in Bon Temps, Louisiana. She is only a few close friends because not everyone appreciates Sookie's gift. She can read minds. That's not exactly every man's idea of date bait, unless they're undead. Vampires and the like can be tough to read. And that's just the kind of guy Sookie's been looking for. Maybe that's why when she comes across a naked vampire, she doesn't just drive on by. 
He hasn't a clue who he is, but Sookie has. Eric looks just as scary and sexy and dead as ever. But now he has amnesia. He's sweet, he's vulnerable, and in need of Sookie's help. Because whoever took his memory now wants his life. If you've seen um, True Dead, True Dead, True Blood, then you remember this episode. Eric is one hot vampire, believe me. <laughs> Alexander Skarsgård, I think is his name. Oh my gosh. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you in my next edition of my Paranormal Romance Obsession.